Warning, this video is made by stupid ass 16 year old with no purpose in life and information might not be entirely accurate. Also prepare for some outdated MLG memes. Imagine one day you're downloading some dang hacks cause you suck ass at Call of Duty. You check the file size, 69GB, nice. Download speed, 420KB per second, oh hell yeah. Then you check your remaining time. Hey guys, welcome to my video on what is 5G. It's been a lot of you. Cool question. How is data transmitted? I'm gonna give you two seconds to answer the question. Here we go! Time's up. And you probably got it wrong. Unless you got it right, then good job. Let's talk waves. No, not that kind of wave. This kind of wave. It's called an electromagnetic wave. And it can carry a shit ton of energy. And the more frequent it is, the more energy it carries. To transmit data, you actually have to find a carrier wave first and then try to match the carrier wave. And you can do that by two ways. First, it's called AM or amplitude modulation, where you change the amplitude so it matches with the carriers. Or frequency modulation, where you change the frequency so it matches with the carriers. So if you're watching this on mobile data right now, I would guess that 99% of you would use 4G. Currently the fastest internet out there. That means yes, you're currently using the fastest thing out there. For now. Introducing 5G, the pinnacle of technology. Unless you've been living on a rock, 5G makes your download 5 times faster. So that 47 hour and 51 minutes download time earlier in the video, it's down to 9 hours and 34 minutes. Whoa, hold on, what the hell was that? What, what? Go back to the picture, go back to the picture, right now, like, right now. You know what? I quit, I quit. I quit, I quit. I don't have any hope for humanity anymore. You know what, you know what? How do people resist change? Like, this is supposed to give you better internet, not trying to give you cancer with this cut. Guys, you know what? I'm too mad at this. I'm also gonna be debunking some myths. So if you've seen these news lately about people burning 5G towers down, or in the case a month ago because, yeah, this is kinda old, then I wanna educate you about 5G. Let's rewind a bit. Remember when I talked about electromagnetic waves? Yeah, so the first theory is that 5G causes cancer. And theoretically, electromagnetic waves could give you cancer. But there's a fine line to that. Let's show the fine line at 10 to the power negative 7 meters in wavelength. At this wavelength, or shorter in this case, you will have something known as an ionizing wave, or it could cause enough damage to damage your DNA. And anything longer than that is categorized as non-ionizing radiation, which won't cause that much harm. At least in the terms of, you know, destroying your cell and causing mutations, which eventually causes cancer. And if you look at the spectrum right here, 5G is still within the microwave range. But that doesn't mean they'll bake you to death. Because the energy is so dissipated that none can reach us at a dangerous level. And when I talk about radiation, most people would think of something like the Fukushima disaster or the Chernobyl disaster or the bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, for example. This myth is debunked. What about 5G causes COVID-19? Well, in fact, COVID-19 is actually caused by a virus called SARS-CoV-2. SARS standing for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, COV stands for Coronavirus, and 2 is because this is the second virus from the same family. And Corona is Espanol for Crown. Corona, no, not that kind of corona, this kind of corona. Viruses like these are biological, which means they are basically living, although there are some disputes to that. But the main takeaway is that it could interact with other biological beings. A computer virus like this isn't biological. So here's the million dollar question. How do biological beings spread via electromagnetic waves? Here's a simple answer. They fucking don't. What about this theory for a change? What if 5G is an activating key for COVID-19? This is inspired by this Facebook post. I'm gonna leave you 30 seconds to read this post.
As you can see here on the diagram, I could divide the respiratory system into three parts for this explanation. The nasopharynx, the tracheal bronchial region, and the pulmonic region. Large particles larger than 5 micrometers are generally deposited in the nasopharyngeal region with very little absorption. Particles 2 to 5 micrometers can penetrate into the tracheal bronchial region. And very small particles smaller than 1 micrometer are able to penetrate deep into the alveolar sacs where they can deposit and be absorbed. So if we look at the size of the smallest robot, we can see that the size of the smallest robot is actually about the size of an ant. So naturally, I calculate the volume and it has a volume of 2.88 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter cube. In comparison, when you take the size of the virus of COVID-19, which is around 120 nanometers in radius, then you calculate the volume based on the formula of a sphere. We are assuming that the virus has a shape of a sphere here. And you can get the volume of 7.2382 times 10 to the negative power 21 meter cube. And to enter those sacs, you have to be less than one micrometer or less than 4.19 times 10 to the power negative 15 meter cube. So even the world Chinese robot could not get in there. And how does one large thing go to a small hole? I could answer that, but I think Jojo will be way happier to answer that one. No, 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 no. On a personal note, this is unfiltered. Um, I planned for this video to be released a month ago, I believe, because that was the earliest thing I thought of when I thought of people burning these towers down. And I know it's a bit late, and I thought that maybe it's too late, I shouldn't release it, but you know what? I've gone this far. Human humanity has disappointed me. And as someone who wants to be a scientist in the future, it really fits the bill here. Like, I have to release it because it's like, this is a proof that humans it, are stupid in this case. Humans are stupid. We don't want to hide the evidence that we are in fact still stupid or in this case, relatively stupid because we don't know that much. And there's still more to uncover. And I know everyone's talking about the riots now, but um, I may make a video on that soon or I could make something else. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, currently, I'm still a high schooler. I don't have any plans for now, but I may release a video soon. This is Sunli signing off. Also, another thing, um, if you're watching my video and you spot anything wrong, uh, I'm very happy to actually um, accept my corrections and my faults because again as I said I'm still studying in high school and I don't have all the resources nor the knowledge to actually create a really accurate video but this is just a video from a perspective of high schooler so if there's anything wrong about the information on the video um, I apologize and feel free to correct me if you can <laughs>